I'm Dr. Ron Linehan, a physician here at Precision Pain Care. I'd like to speak today about a new treatment option for a very common problem called spinal stenosis that affects a large number of elderly patients in particular, although it can occur in younger patients. And essentially, spinal stenosis is a term used to describe narrowing of the canal that the spinal cord travels through. And as a consequence, patients with significant spinal stenosis often have difficulty standing or walking for short periods of time. I often meet patients who, after 10, 15, 20 minutes of standing, have to sit. Or if they're walking any distance, need to lean on something, a cane, a walker, a shopping cart if they're at the grocery store. All of these are indicators of significant spinal stenosis that needs to be further confirmed and defined by an MRI of the lower back. Traditionally, if spinal stenosis couldn't be addressed with conservative measures that might include medicines for arthritis like ibuprofen or naproxen, physical therapy, uh, sometimes injections, often the next step was a referral for a consultation with the spine surgeon. And the traditional approach to spine surgery for spinal stenosis often involves a fairly major surgery where part of the bone of the spine is removed, called laminectomy, and oftentimes fusion surgery is included in that, where rods and screws are placed to stabilize the spine. That can be a fairly risky surgery, especially in an elderly patient population. Recently, there have been some significant advances in the technology that allows a minimally invasive surgical approach to treating spinal stenosis. And the one that I'm referring to that I've been particularly impressed with is called the Minuteman procedure. And essentially it involves placing a spacer that looks very much like a bolt between the bones of the spine to open up the space. And this will relieve pressure on the nerves and reduce pain, but also very importantly, improve function. People that have had this procedure were often able to stand and walk significantly longer, which allows them to play with their grandchildren, go to sporting events, do a lot of the things that they enjoy doing that have been difficult because of the symptoms due to spinal stenosis. One of the big advantages of these minimally invasive surgical techniques and the Minuteman procedure in particular is that this is a procedure that is done through a side approach. So a small incision is made in a patient's flank and through a series of dilators we can place this spacer between these bones. Traditional surgical approaches and even some of the more recent minimally invasive surgical approaches require an incision right along the middle of the spine and by making that incision, some of the muscles and some of the ligaments that support the spine have to be cut, which can reduce their stability and their, their function. So using this, what's called a lateral approach through the side, avoids the cutting of the muscles and the ligaments, which has some significant advantages as far as maintaining the stability of the spine. As a minimally invasive surgical technique, it is done as an outpatient surgery. So patients go home the same day of the surgery, usually after an hour or so in the recovery area. This can be done under general anesthesia or under heavy sedation with plenty of local anesthetic. It's a fairly quick recovery period with very low risks. Uh, patients usually return to near normal activities within the first week although I would expect soreness for a week or two. Um, the overall improvement that I have experienced with this procedure and that national statistics uh, bear out is a greater than 50% reduction of symptoms, improvement of function over the course of maybe a two to three month complete recovery period that frequently involves physical therapy. But 
to return toward activities that were done prior to the surgery and hopefully exceed them should happen much sooner than that in the vast majority of patients. So I'm very excited about this, this treatment. It opens up new options to treat a very common problem in a much less aggressive fashion than was previously available. I would love to speak more to you about it. If you feel that you have these types of symptoms, we can certainly look into it deeper and explore our options. Thank you.